the previous video I was created with the login user page in the account folder and uh, I was uh, done some uh, blazer UI activities uh, information like email password and uh, create some method uh, and registration on when user click on the submit button this method is card and is inside the and the registration so i have called the logger method and if we response get uh, failed this one is false uh, the, the is field is true and uh, on the is true i have added boost uh, alerts so this alert will be shown something went wrong i was created the app repository so i am the app i was created the login method and the Static endpoint. I will just create the uh, one infra party the uh, following endpoint and uh, and the uh, uh, blazers uh, sort of API URL here to call the user login API. Call the user login endpoint. So so uh, as you can see that uh, if I go to the, the login uh, method, so this uh, this method is generating the token and uh, when using the login system to the success rate is the user token and uh, uh, it is returning the DPO method which is contain the three fields the email the token string and the user id so i have just created the response video same like uh, in the just like uh, which contain the other three fields email user id and token string so, so I need that uh, token to save in the uh, any uh, saving uh, like uh, Blazor local storage. So I uh, I will just use this in the forward. I will move to the product and current implementation. So as you can see, that the product controller post uh, put and the date uh, three methods are. Uh, roles protected so through the and authorize and roles is equal to administration so through the token i will validate the uh, user roles and uh, if user is uh, the user role, role is not administrator so user don't have, have the access to do uh, add edit or delete the uh, some data in the product controller so just to uh, to the blazer local storage so blazer local storage is the leverage that provides access to the uh, browser local uh, storage api for blazer application so uh, in an additional benefit of using this uh, library is that uh, we end up serializing and uh, deserializing values when saving or retrieving them uh, with the local storage uh, the data is persistent to the manually user in the browser Cache or until you are until your web API web app clear the data. So it has some advantage over the session. We traditionally uh, use our application as a, a session, so Blazor support the local uh, storage, so it has some advantages over the session. So that's why we are using the local storage. So installing the local storage, uh, you can add the uh, go to the CS project file and like the product and mention the version. So, uh, if you want to install the, the, the command or uh, package manager console, you can um, simply uh, copy this uh, file in this code and type the uh, install command. So, I have already installed the package. Uh, Blazor local storage, uh, which is which version is 4.3.0, and uh, you can use uh, any version which is the latest and uh, supported to your project. So, next thing is to uh, set up the uh, Blazor server local storage and register in the uh, startup or uh, program CS file. So, in my case, uh, I have the program.cs class and just copy and paste here so
so just build the copy and size and paste it here and add the references for the as add brazil and local storage so so uh, brazil local storage uh, services is registered successfully in the in our uh, app and now uh, we are have to use uh, uh, so just got the uh, local storage services and initialize it just go to the output repository and uh, create the property it only and uh, just paste it here and add the references for that append this with let's go just copy this paste it here and now initialize the local storage so I have injected the local storage in my system and in the author repository and after the injection and I have initialized this property in the constructor so I can just use this in my login API so just call this and set Async and which accept the uh, key and the uh, value. So uh, I just to add the key, there will be ATH JWT token. So value will be the API response dot. Token string. So uh, this uh, accept the something went wrong. I think sorry. Uh, await keyword was was harder to add. Await keyword here. Yeah. So and uh, I have call the uh, api response token so uh, set uh, uh, this accept the uh, string value and i can add any other value just like the email so api response dot so these two fields are added in the local storage so uh, now i have to change the app, uh, application state from uh, uh, i have to set the application state login and logout so in the next video i will discuss and uh, implement uh, how to change the application state and uh, store uh, our jwt token for further use so thank you for watching the video if you have any question you can put your question in the comment box